Hello, welcome to the second of my videos analysing Elton John's very greatest songs. Today I want to look at Come Down in Time from the Tumbleweed Connection album of 1970. This is an absolutely beautiful song. To start with, we have fantastic lyrics from Bernie Taupin, but we have the most majestic and moving setting from Elton as well. The whole thing, with an orchestral backing as well, turns into a beautiful piece of music lasting about three minutes. And listen to these two opening chords and how they blend together. It's a very simple start. Those two chords getting us in the mood for this song. What are they? Well, we start with an A minor chord, but Elton just amends this slightly because he adds the sixth note of the chord there to make it there. So we get this chord, but what's the beauty of it is that we add another note into that mix and we add the second note of the chord as well. Oddly enough, you get this clash, you think, oh, isn't that horrible? But when you hear the whole chord, you get a really lovely mix. Let's do this. So these are the notes of the chord. You've got a lot of different notes in that, but when they go together, they form this beautiful mood. How he starts it that's how the song builds up now let me just add that this is only my own working of these songs i haven't got the official music or anything like that i'm just doing this from here so if you've got a different slightly different interpretation please let me know um, because um, it's really great fun to work out these songs and how they're put together but now we come to the verse coming in and we've got this lovely chord in the quiet silent seconds are Turned off the light switch and I, and now Elton takes us into another chord, not C major, but C major with a lovely seventh. That's C major, but he adds in this note. Again, that's the seventh note of the chord, and it gives us this. So I'll do it from this from the start again. In the quiet, silent seconds I turned off the light switch and I, and here it comes. Lovely chord that came down to me to D major now. Now from D major he takes us into D minor. In the half light the moon left, and that is E major. So um, some lovely combinations in that. So it came down to me to you in the half light the moon left. Voila. Um, Beautiful use of the lyric there. Uh, the start of the next line, voila, comes with the previous line. Uh, and we go back to the same chords again. A cluster of night just sang some songs out of tune. And a, now down to that C7, C with a seventh. A mantle of bright light shone down from a room. Listen to those fantastic lyrics. A cluster of night jars sang some songs out of tune. This would just survive as a poem on its own. It's even better though, when it's got uh, this uh, wonderful music to go with it. So what happens in the refrain on here? So we go to an F chord there, but with that seventh note in it. Come down in time. E minor, again with the seventh. Then D minor, still I hear her sing. Back to the F. So clear in my ear. D minor, like it was today. Now, here's a really interesting bit. Come down in time, but where does he go now? What does Elton choose to do to make this a little bit different at the end of this refrain? He goes, come down in time. That is an A flat major chord. Where did he get that from? F major to A flat major, a really bold choice. Come down in time was the message, and that's C major, she gave. 
Come down in time and I'll meet you half. Now, see what happens at the end here. Wait. So, what we've got there is A flat major, B flat major, and then back to the F major, which slips so delightfully back into this bass chord that he's using, this A minor with extra bits. So well, doesn't it? Let's have a quick look at the second verse. Well, I don't know if I should have heard her as yet, but a true love like hers is a hard love to get enough. I've walked most all the way, and I ain't heard a call, and I'm getting to thinking if she's coming out. Words just fit so beautifully in that, and um, it's a lovely sort of jazzy feel to this. Um, then we get the refrain again. Um, it's it's flowing so easily this song, really easy to listen to. Uh, and finally, a little surprise at the end of the song. See what happens. There are women and women, and some hold you tight while some leave you counting the. Stars in the night. I think he ends it there on a B major chord. That chord hasn't appeared anywhere else in the song. Um, it leaves you actually wanting more. I mean, we could have had you know another couple of minutes of music, but I suppose because it's so compact, um, it just makes it even more of a quality song. Um, so um, that is a fantastic song. Um, I'm surprised more people haven't covered it. Sting did a very good version of this on one of the tribute albums uh, to Elton. Songwriting of the highest order here. Uh, a really sensitive, beautiful song. So I hope I've done it justice. If you've got any other thoughts on what makes it so good, please comment below. Um, and I'll be doing more of these videos along with my normal album reviews in the future. Don't forget, we're still standing. <laughs>